Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Um, today, I wanted to take a minute and teach uh, folks playing the mountain dulcimer how to read tablature. Um, you can really do a lot with tablature and it's not that hard to read. And uh, I'm just gonna quickly go through it. I will put uh, a little graphic somewhere <laughs> to show you what I'm talking about um, as I talk about it. But I'm going to go ahead and move the camera now, and then we'll get to it. I hope you're enjoying these free lessons that I'm giving. Um, please subscribe down below, and let's get on with the video. Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, leaning on the everlasting arms. Okay, we're looking at the first measure of that song. And um, most of your tabs will be laid out like this. So you see there... Um, in the top left, you've got four over four, okay? That is standard timing for songs. Um, so it just means you're gonna have four beats in the measure. And so our notes will equal four quarter notes, okay? You don't have to worry about that, but um, that just tells you the time signature. Uh, there's lots of different time signatures out there. Another common one is three four time and that's what we call waltz time and that's like bump 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 one two three one two three lots of songs are done that way too okay so this one's in four four now some things we notice we see um the music score running along the top and if you can read music that's excellent if you're like me um i read tab so what we have on the bottom here is you see three lines, okay? So if you have a look down at your dulcimer, you see three lines. Now you may have a four, four string dulcimer or a three string dulcimer, but that double string down there, we just kind of refer to that as one string because you're not gonna play those independently of each other. So we have three lines on the page and three lines on our dulcimer when we look down. Okay, so if you look at the page again, uh, you'll see that it is laid out exactly as if you were looking down at your dulcimer. Look at the page, look down at your dulcimer, okay? The top, the top line that you see there, that top line is this top string on your dulcimer, that bass string the thickest string on your dulcimer, the middle line, middle string, the bottom line is your melody line, okay? So as you can see there, the first thing we have is we have a two, okay? So that means we put, we press down the second fret and that's the first note, okay? Then we see two more twos, a one, and we see a zero. Now that means we play that note open we, without pressing anything down, okay? Now you'll notice there's no numbers on either of the other two lines, okay? That means those are not played, okay? So if those were gonna be played, if they were gonna be played open, so if I was going to play that whole first measure open, it would look on the page like the first note would be two, then directly above it, it would be zero, and directly above it, zero. And it would sound like this. Okay? So you'd have those zeros on there if they wanted you to play that way. Um, so this song, uh, this tablature in particular, is just written the melody notes. Okay? So that leaves it up to you to add in chords where you'd like them. See how I just I just made that first one. Okay. All right. So the last thing I want to talk to you about is what's on the very top, and that is the chord. So you see a D at the very top of this line. Okay. So that represents the D chord. So there's a bunch of different ways to play the D chord. I'm just going to play it like this, and that is our second fret at the bass string, and that's a beautiful D. This is a D also, but anyway. Um, so you could play this song and sing it, and um, that first chord there is a D. 
So that would be one of fellowship. See how we could sing that? So all that information is in that first measure and it follows all the way through, but there's a lot there. Now let's talk about the second tablature that I want to talk about and that's uh, down in the valley and I'll put that up for you. Okay, so what do we notice right off the bat? All right, we see a lot of the same similar things, um, but there is something just a little bit different. Okay, so that time signature there is three, four. So again, that means there's three beats in that measure. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, now what do you see in that first measure? Okay, you see this little doohickey that's two parallel lines and then two dots, all right? That little thing is called a repeat symbol. So when you see that in a song, you're going to follow it to the, you're gonna start and follow it till you see the next one. And the next one is flipped in reverse of that. So the two dots are facing inside. So you got two dots facing this way, two dots facing that way. You play everything inside and you repeat it, okay? So you're gonna see that come up a lot in tablature, and you need to know that that means you repeat it, okay? All right, so this first measure here, we have three notes in there. If you see the top score there, you see three notes. All right, you also see the D chord, so that's your first chord. Now, into the tablature you see something, and this is what it looks like when you have chords, okay? So the first thing we see is two open notes at the top of our dulcimer. So we have an open bass string and an open middle string. And it sounds like this, right? Then that's followed up by a strum, everything open, and a first fret of that melody line with everything open. And it would sound like this. Okay, now let's look at the next measure. The next measure only has one thing in the entire measure, and it's got the second fret and two open strings. Sounds like that. Now, what does that mean? That means we play that and we let it ring out for those three beats of that measure. Okay, the next measure after that shows open. Everything's open for that entire measure. Okay, so I'm gonna play through uh, those three measures for you so you hear the timing of that. Did you see how the space that that took up? Took up the whole timing of that measure. I'll do it again. So it's good to understand that Within those measures, you're going to have a whole different amount of notes and chords and different things, but they take up that same time signature that we talked about in the beginning. So, okay. Let me move the camera back. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. And before I go, I just always want you to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.